What's up, y'all? Somehow, this is my first video ever on Fernando Tatis Jr. or Soli. I don't know that happened. I came to my mind because I saw this tweet, and I was like, holy shit, those are insane numbers. So today, we're going to go dive through those 162, talk about Tatis, how he's the next Ken Griffey Jr., how he could go down as one of the best offensive shortstops of all time. Yes, I know people make... Uh, lots of jokes about the errors, but this guy is phenomenal. We've got so many great young players in the game. It just goes to show that baseball is in good hands. So let's deep dive into this tweet real quick. In his last 162 games, so a full season, normally people don't play all 162 though, he has a 301 batting average, 50 homers, 38 steals. The 50-50 club has never been done. He would join one of the few people to do the 40-40 club. I think it could happen this year. Um, he has... Like I said, the 38 steals, 123 RBIs so my shortstop is insane. Uh, a career OPS of 983 is amazing. He's already racked up almost 10 war in 181 career games. He already has two and a half war just from this year. Um, he had a 969 OPS as a rookie and finished third in rookie of the year voting, which was crazy. So this guy, the numbers are there, definitely. This year has been insane. So he missed a good chunk. I think he was on COVID for about two to three weeks. And then his numbers are still insane. A 1.0991 oh, OPS leads the league. He has a 708 slugging. Crazy. 12 stolen bases and 16 homers leads the league as well. This guy is crazy. This is insane. Uh, the batting average. Where's the batting average looking like? 299. Amazing. OPS. 1.091, I said that, OPS plus 206, so he's 106 points better than the average player. This guy is crazy. I mean, this could be the year. He's on pace for a 40-40 season as he is 16 and 12 right now. We, if we want to talk about how electric he is, I think this guy can really be the next Ken Griffey Jr. Some of these slides and the way he gets out of hit by pitches are crazy. Um, he's obviously always been, con uh, not controversial, but he's been controversial last year with the 3-0. Um, I mean, just having him, Soto, Acuna, Vlad, Otani, I'm forgetting some more people, shows baseball is in such good hand. Um, the one critique is, yes, he makes errors. People call him Fernando Tatis E6. Um, it's kind of funny. Uh, but so what? This guy might go down as one of the best offensive shortstops of all time. He's got the speed, obviously, the stolen bases. He's got the base running aggressiveness. He's got the fearlessness. Um, there's one more thing I want to say, right? It was, it was about the glove. Yes, the errors. So sometimes, yeah, I think he has an overall average glove. Sometimes it's below average if he's making these errors. Sometimes it can be really above average because he makes highlight level plays. I don't think the glove really is going to matter in this guy's career. At the start of the year, I picked Soto to an MVP. It looks like it's going to be a battle between Acuna and Tatis this year. That's amazing. I love that. And then in the East, it might be Vlad versus Otani. Just Crazy baseball is in such good hands. I mean, we want to talk Tatis. People always talk the James uh, James Shields trade when they traded Shields for Tatis when Tatis was a prospect. Obviously, bad trade for the White Sox. Can you imagine the White Sox with Tatis now? Scary. Manny Machado bet a Dodgers fan his entire contract that they'd win a World Series before the Dodgers do. And right now, Fernando Tatis Jr. is going to be a massive part of that. Uh, that was kind of the first video solely based on Tatis and solely based on a player. I really don't do videos like this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for all the support recently, and we out. Peace.